Yes. Diamond Head is one of the most iconic spots in Hawaii. If not all the world, the famous crater has a deep history. Kamakapili explains in tonight's Aloha Authentic. We all make use of our island roadways, but when was the last time you paid attention to their given names? Did you know you could learn more about Hawaii if you did? Well, our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various streets and places across the islands so we can dig into those names and in turn, learn something new. This week, we highlight what is nicknamed Kaimanahila. In the Ahupua'a of Waikiki, which lies in the moku of Kona here on Oahu, stands a short street named after the hill it's situated right in front of. We're talking about Kaimanahila Street. As a result of volcanic activity over 300,000 years ago, magma and ash were blown into the air and fused together to create a tuff cone. Its crater's southwestern rim stands the tallest because during its eruption, the winds were blowing the ash in that direction. What was originally known as Laiahi, referring to its summit's resemblance to the brow of a tuna, Diamond Head has been given many names throughout history. At the turn of the 19th century, Western explorers mistook calcite crystals on the crater's slopes as diamonds. Following its discovery, the name Kaimanahila, literally Diamond Hill, was given to the landmark only to evolve into Diamond Head. In 1905, the U.S. purchased the crater and some surrounding areas to create what became known as Fort Ruger. It was the first official military reservation in Hawaii and a way to strengthen the coast's artillery defense. While no shots were ever fired in any war, its remnants remain today with the approximate 800,000 visitors each year. Did you know? Now you do. Thank you, Kamaka. I always figured Diamond Head, just the, the figure of the structure itself was the diamond, but I didn't know, yeah, the, the sparkles coming off. Did that make sense? Well, now we do. Now we know. <laughs> Thank you, Kamaka.